You know, I tried that once. That must be crazy. These pills are messing with my brain. Not exactly. Why am I still here? Would you rather not be? Obviously. Want to talk about it? Who are you? How did you get into my house? Who I am is not important. What you need to know is I'm here to help you. I don't want your help. Is your life so messed up that you'd willingly throw it all away over something? Something so petty? How dare you? You don't know what I've been through. I knew a guy once. He's a lot like you. No friends, no family. There's nothing special about him. One day, he decided enough was enough. He bought a gun and a cheap bottle of Jack. A few shots in, and he was about to take the only shot that really mattered. What happened to him? He pulled the trigger. Is this story supposed to help? I don't know, did it? Not really. Because it's not finished. So what happened next? I woke up. You what? I woke up. In a wooden box. In a new suit. So, I am dead. Not yet. Like you, I spent my whole life chasing dead ends, trying to make something of myself. It wasn't until I died and came back that I realized I had a gift. I have a funny feeling you're a lot like me. What exactly is your gift? Well, to put it simply, as long as I'm nearby, People can't die. That includes you. Okay, that's fine. I didn't ask you to come. I'm nobody. I have no value. I have no gift. Go ask my wife. Go ask anybody I ever knew. Don't believe me? Here. I'm sure someone else can use your help. Let me die in peace. Well, this hardly looks like peace. Get out. I don't need your help. I don't want your help. Leave. OK. You win. <laughs> I still think you're making a mistake. Doesn't feel good, does it? Now I'm gonna ask you again. Are you sure that's what you really want? Is it always like that? No, not for everyone. You just pumped your body full of booze and pills. So how long do I have? Now that's up to you. I can go and let the drugs do their work, or I can stay. I don't know. I don't know. What was it like for you when you woke up? Dark. Scary. Confusing. You name it, I felt it. But I knew one thing for sure. Somewhere deep down, I was glad I wasn't dead. You see, we make these decisions based on our current circumstances. We let doubt, fear, worry drive us, blind us. Till one day, we decide it's better not to live at all. We forget that we have our entire lives ahead of us. You know, when I 
woke up, I thought, what if life wasn't about what happened to us? What if it's about what we choose to do next? Well, what did you do next? Come with me. Okay. We're in a cemetery. Is this supposed to inspire me? You a reader? No, not really. Well, even if you're not, I'm sure you've heard of Mark Twain. Sure. He's often credited for saying the two most important days of your life are the day that you're born, the day you find out why. This is my why. This is your why? This is a graveyard. Do you realize how scary that is? It's only scary if these people are dead. What kind of graveyard isn't full of dead people? You're asking all the wrong questions. Why don't you do me a favor? See that tombstone? Why don't you tell me what the inscription says? Loving father, beloved husband, I don't know what you want me to see. What's the date of death? There isn't one. It's because he's not dead. At every single one of these tombstones, it's more of the same. Different people, different lives. They all have one thing in common. They're all still out there. You saved them, didn't you? They saved themselves. See, like you, they all had a choice. Just because you've lost a lot, just because your life wasn't full of wonderful experiences, doesn't mean you don't have a reason to live. Sometimes, sometimes you just have to reset and set off in a new and unfamiliar direction to find your why. But I promise you, your why is out there. And you will find it someday. If you don't stop here, that is. I wouldn't even know where to begin. You spend your whole life going one direction only to have the floor ripped out beneath you. How do you start over? And is it even worth it? Only you can answer that. You've seen the tombstones, you've read the inscriptions. These people were just as broken and messed up as you when I left them. They didn't know what they were gonna do with their lives. The point is they tried. I don't know. I'm just scared. Well, I'm afraid it's time to make a choice. Please, please don't do this. Please don't leave. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Please.
I tried that once.